Hey, badass black girls, and they making big moves. Hey, badass black girls, nothing that you can't do. They are the future, I'm trying to tell you. They want the best, no time to settle. They got the strength to handle the pressure. These are the queens, nobody better. Yeah, yeah, changing the narrative, that is imperative. They about to rock this. Tell the women that you got this. Got no time for people who are toxic. It's all love, good vibes. Uh, you know I got your back, girl. Talking issues that matter. This is badass black girl, yeah. Hey everybody, it's Mahalia. How's it going? <laughs> so I have a couple questions to answer. Um, a few people have sent some things in. Um, they wanted to know a little bit more about my cooking and my blog. So let's see. Um, someone said, what got me interested in cooking? Um, I think I've always been interested in cooking. I definitely always did um, desserts and treats and things when I was younger, like in middle school. And as I got older, I don't know, it was kind of like boiling pour. You know, I didn't have like two, it was, it was whatever. Um, I think I really started getting into it when um, my, he wasn't my husband then, but he had a lot of foreign um, roommates. And they were here on visas. They were mostly um, Scandinavian and they were just here and they were usually here for a limited time. Um, so they didn't, they weren't home for holidays. Sometimes they couldn't make it. So I started cooking and doing like these big dinner parties then. And I just kind of, it just kind of snowballed from there. Um, with uh, just different recipes and I tried different things. So, uh, and it just grew. Um, yeah, and also um, with my job, I work in corporate aviation, so we actually do have to prepare meals and sometimes we have to actually prepare menus for some of our clients. So that also, you know, kind of adds to it where you really have to put on a presentation when you're, when you're serving. Um, let's see, um, Maliz said, how did I find my style? Um, because some of the recipes kind of look like they're either made up or they're my own thing and the presentation is always quite unique. Well, um, my style, okay, well I, um, my friends say that I cook Haitian-ish because I think I try to put a, make it a little healthier. Haitian food is not necessarily the healthiest, um, the healthiest type of, um, food but it is quite tasty so I kind of wanted to still do that um, and make it as authentic as possible but I also because I've been traveling for 20 years more than 20 years I've had the opportunity to visit a lot of different countries so I think I've just you know grabbed different ideas from places and um, unique presentations in different, you know, restaurants or just, yeah, just different uh, places that I visited. So that was, yeah, pretty neat. Um, the recipes aren't, aren't, they aren't necessarily made up. Uh, I actually do follow recipes. <laughs> I do follow recipes um, or I tweak it or I, I have a base recipe and then I just kind of add um, a different flavor profile to it, something that I think would be interesting. So yeah, that's the way that goes. Um, let's see, oh, Ro uh, Robert? Robert said, how do I choose recipes on a given day? Um, well, I, I had a list of recipes and I tried to go according to seasons. Um, so right now we're kind of still in the summer, so I had ice cream and homemade ice cream cones and things that are fresh and salads, things that you could take on a barbecue if you're hosting at home. Um, so I kind of go that way. Usually I try to pick four completely different ones because um, I usually film you know quite you know quite a few one day or over a course of a weekend so i would like to have a variety as i'm posting them um as they come up on my blog or on youtube so um do i involve my child in the process <laughs> Well, <laughs> I did. She's actually um, my sort of producer and uh, videographer. That's she has always been interested in photography. So she she was interested in that. But a teenager that kind of went sideways quickly. You know, she found it a little bit boring. The stop and go and the angles and you know the B roll shots and uh, so. Um, 
So now I'm, I'm, tr I'm. It's, it's not easy to do by myself. It's, it's certainly not uh, a thing to do on your own, especially if you're trying to do different angles and you hear you're chopping <laughs> and trying to also film. Um, so I'm kind of hoping to uh, get her a little more interested. Um, I, ha I do cook with her, so we do cook together. Um, not uh she doesn't enjoy it as i do but she's getting there she has a few little recipes that she likes to make and uh she enjoys so um so that's where we're at with that um and let me see oh in general how am i doing well you know um this project kind of came about because i have been home i haven't really been traveling um so i've been home um, and this was just kind of like a really fun thing to do and stay busy and uh, yeah so and it has been you know I've, um, I've been able to perfect a few more recipes and try a few more things so it's it's a process it's 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 keeps me quite busy um, and I have to constantly have things to show and present and cook so the kitchen ends up being a little crazy when I am doing all the recipes all at once but it's been good you know I don't I don't mind sitting at home I plant as well and of course there's the blog um, and the blog covers other things as well so it's not just the recipes it's like a lifestyle thing so I talk about traveling and and things to do um, since we're kind of a little bit more local these days and there isn't really too much too much international flying um, so I try to, you know, give out ideas that way. And the other section, I guess, of the lifestyle blog is just, um, just, um, just thoughts, things, um, things about life, things about lifing and adulting, and um, and maybe just kind of shifting your mindset with certain things that we were so programmed or so used to um, knowing, you know, as we've grown up. So it's kind of nice to, you know, maybe offer a different angle. Um, to things and, and how to think about things or um, yeah we tend to stay in our comfort zone so it's kind of nice to you know every once in a while read something that yeah, maybe makes us feel a little uncomfortable but it might be something that you um, that might help you know and inspire so yeah that's it um, so the blog I mean I, I try to blog uh, three times a week and it's um, it's show up differently. There's a dash in between. I know it's a little annoying because it would be nice if it was one word, but I couldn't get that. So it's, um, um, and then there's also, I tweet, I try to tweet. So, and that's Mahalia S and all that. I'll, I'll have that for you as well. And um, yeah, and I'm also on Instagram, you know, show up differently. So yeah, it's it's busy. It's right. It keeps you busy to do all these things, but it's it's okay. It's 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 good for now. So yeah, that's it. I don't have yeah. That's that's it for now. <laughs> Thanks.